you're excited. You finally bought your first AR-15, or you're going to purchase your first AR-15. Like the Smith & Wesson M&P Sport II that was featured in the thumbnail of this video, or even possibly this Rock River Arms LAR-15. Both of these rifles have a 1 in 9 twist barrel, and this one is marked as such right here. However, you also want to go shoot 77 grain bullets for some downrange accuracy, or maybe you just want to shoot 77 grain bullets for self-defense. But in talking with your buddies at the gun range, or maybe you heard about it from somebody down at the gun store, that you can't shoot 77 grain bullets in a 1 in 9 twist rifle because a 1 in 9 twist rifle won't stabilize 77 grain bullets. You, being a wise person, know not to trust everything you hear. So you go home and Google it, and you find a bunch of stability charts relating to twist rate and the AR-15 rifle. And maybe, in fact, you find a chart like this green, yellow, and red three-line chart that shows that a 1 in 9 twist is on the red line. And we all know that the red means stop. It's a no-go. Or you run across this confusing circles chart which shows the specific bullets that a 1 in 9 twist rifle can shoot by circling them on this chart. And you conveniently notice that 75 and 77 grain bullets aren't contained within the circle. So you know that they can't stabilize in a 1 in 9 twist rifle. So these charts are the definitive answer on AR-15 twist rate? Well, not exactly. I've done prior videos where I've shot various 1 and 9 twist rifles at 100 yards, and I've gotten very go good groups. And in fact, I've shot this rifle out to 565 yards in a previous video, and I've got extremely good groups at that distance. However, no matter what I show on my videos, somebody usually has a complaint about my procedures. And the usual complaint is that if I had shot this 16 inch barrel out to a further distance than I show in the videos, the bullet would have magically fallen apart, lost its accuracy because of a loss of bullet stability at that distance. But if I had a one in seven twist rifle like the US military uses, I would have no problem stabilizing the bullet at that distance and shot even better groups. In fact, Chris H commented on one of my videos 13 days ago from the filming of this video, and he said, fact, a 1 in 9 barrel will not stabilize a 77 grain bullet beyond 400 yards. Well, that's a pretty strong statement. He also said, past 500 yards, a 77 grain bullet from a 1 in 9 twist barrel may as well be a shotgun. The accuracy loss is significant due to destabilizing of the bullet. So for all of you who are thinking of shooting 77 grain bullets through a 1 in 9 twist barrel, I'm going to take this. Rock River Arms 1 in 9 twist 16 inch barrel back to the range and shoot a five shot group at a thousand yards. You can judge the stability of the bullets based on the video today. Here we go.
All right, four out of five hits at a thousand yards with this 16 inch barrel, not bad. But there's a bit of caution with today's testing. First of all, every barrel is different. Take for instance, this one and eight twist barrel that I don't currently have on a rifle. It should shoot anything from 55 to 77 grains, no problems. However, it's currently not on a rifle because it doesn't matter what grain weight ammo I put in it, it shoots horribly. So it's not on a rifle. Now, I can honestly say that I've shot at least half a dozen Rock River Arms AR-15s. I've never had a problem with any of them shooting 77 grain bullets through a 1 and 9 twist rifle that they have made, and they've all performed really well. Which also brings up another issue that permeates the internet and local gun stores and gun ranges, which is can a 55 grain bullet be stabilized in a 1 and 7 twist barrel? And if you'd like to know the answer to that question, you can check out my video right here as I attempt to answer it. Have a good one, God bless, and spread some kindness.